our channel, become our patron. Visit patreon.com forward slash Cycle Maintenance Academy. Hi and welcome to Cycle Maintenance Academy. In today's video I'd like to show you how does the quill stem work and how to replace it. But before we begin, as always, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video. Okay, if you're ready, then let's begin. What is a quill stem and how does it work? A quill stem is used on bikes with a threaded steerer tube. It is usually one piece, unless the angle is adjustable. The threaded stem sits in a steerer tube of the fork. The locking mechanism consists of a quill, a stem expander bolt and a wedge. By tightening the stem expander bolt, the wedge is drawn up and it pushes against the angled part of the stem until both parts compresses into the steerer tube. Quill stems come in two common diameters, one inch and one and one eighth inch. To change your upper body position, you can replace the current stem with a different length, height or angle. Stem length. If you are looking to replace your quill stem with a longer or a shorter one, then first measure the length of your current stem. The measurement is taken from the middle of the stem bolt to the middle of the bars and is expressed in millimeters. If your quill stem is shorter than 130 millimeters, then you will be able to source a longer reach replacement. If your threaded stem is longer than 40 millimeters, then you will be able to source a shorter replacement. Stem angle. You can change your stem to one with either a positive angle to bring your body position more upright or a negative angle to give a more aerodynamic riding position. Adjustable stem. An alternative option offering a variety of angles to find the most comfortable position. Stem height. If your stem is adjusted to the maximum height and it still feels too low, you might be able to replace it with one that has a longer stem tube. First, you will need to measure your current stem tube. Using a 6mm Allen key, loosen the top bolt. If the bolt comes up whilst unscrewing, this means that the stem is wedged in and needs to be loosened. Gently tap the bolt with a mallet or a hammer until it drops. Now raise the stem above the maximum insertion mark and tighten the stem bolt. Measure the distance in millimeters between the insertion mark and the top of the stem. If it is shorter than 300 millimeters, you will be able to source a longer replacement. Now undo the bolt and return the stem to its original position. Handlebar clamp diameter. Check the central diameter of your handlebars. There are two common sizes, 25.4 mm and 31.8 mm. Make sure that the replacement stem is the correct size. Replacing a quill stem. Before you start, be aware that when replacing a stem with a different length, height or angle, you might need to replace the brake and gear cables, as the current ones might be too short. While having the bike on the floor, stand in front of it with the wheel in between your legs. If you have a flat bars, remove the handlebar grip on one side. Our video here will help you with this task. For drop bars, remove the bar tape. Check out this video if you need help in removing and refitting bar tape. Under the retaining bolts on the gear and brake levers on that side. And remove them, remembering the order. For drop bar levers, the retaining bolt will be either somewhere under the hood or, in older models, inside the lever. Remove any other accessories on that side, such as bell, light, etc. 
bolt. Using a 6mm allen key, loosen the top bolt. Undo the bolt on the handlebar clamp and slide out the handlebars. Using a cable tie or strap, attach the bars to the top tube of the frame. Now remove the stem. Fit the replacement into the fork and tighten it just enough to hold it in place. Attach the handlebars. If the cables stop the handlebars from being reattached, then find out which cables are too short and loosen them so that you can slide the bars in place. Position them so that they are central and levers are easy to reach. Tighten the stem bolt. Refit the accessories. Refit the brake and gear levers. If any of the cables are too short, then loosen them. Refit the grip. Now align the bars with the front wheel and tighten the stem bolt. Replace any of the cables that are too short. Our video here will guide you through the process of gear cable replacement. We've made a great video here on how to replace brake cables. The drop bars refit the bar tape. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below how you got on replacing a quilt stem.